Hey, it's Soman, and welcome to a special bedhead edition of Ever Never TV, live from Austin, Texas. I am on the road again. For those of you who watched Ever Never TV all these years, you know that I'm on the road quite a bit, and Corona kind of put a stop to that, but I am now double vaccinated and filled with antibodies from two or three weeks of lying around after my second Moderna shot. I am ready for action. Thought I'd take this little trip down to my favorite place, in America before I have to take a longer trip a little bit later this month. And what's funny about Austin is that I almost was gonna move here last year. I had planned to move here and then there was that huge coronavirus spike that kind of took down Texas. And so I stayed in New York and I had sort of grown tired of New York and was ready to move. And then during the pandemic, I kind of fell in love with it again and sort of recommitted to New York. And then I come down to Austin now for the first time and a year and I fall in love with Austin all over again and I feel like Sophie ping-ponging between boys. But I thought today we'd do something a little different and we would just do a little check-in where I do one of my long sort of aimless vlogs because so many of our episodes have been very highly produced of late because there's been so much going on. So I thought I'd wake up, look kind of ratty, and uh, come talk to you folks. <laughs> um, First of all, I just want to say that your comments on, on the last video, the Beast and Beauty unboxing video, where we jokingly told you, please convince us why you're my number one fan. You all were so earnest and sweet. I cried multiple times uh, reading them because you don't know how much I love you guys and how important you have all been in my life. Because when I was writing the first Go for Good Evil, I never thought anyone would read it. And the idea that you guys have read it and it has become a part of, you know, your imagination and your way of thinking about the world and, and the characters mean something to you and that you continue to sort of like be involved in, in the School for Good Evil fandom is just sort of like very emotional for me. And I don't think it's something I will ever forget as long as I live, uh, no matter what I go on to do and what other stuff I do with my life, this sort of period of watching a world that I built get inhabited by you guys who love it so much and communicate that love so deeply and honestly uh, is just um, a true joy in many ways. And so I just want to thank you for all your heartfelt comments. It means a lot to me uh, and it meant a lot to me all those years of writing S S School for Good Evil because there were many times where I wanted to quit and many times where I was just tired because to write six books that are close to 700 pages, pretty much each and every one was rough. You know, it was hard physically, it was hard mentally, it was hard emotionally, and I needed all of your support during that time, and um, it means a lot that you guys are still here. <laughs> As I'm getting old and getting close to the elephant graveyard, supporting and boosting me whenever I need it, which is all the time. <laughs> uh, so it was impossible to pick a winner because you're all the best. Uh, and there's there's no way of ever separating uh, my love for one of you uh, from all of you. But there was a comment from Sweet Sophie that basically captured my sentiment, which was that there is no number one fan because you're all it. I'm your number one fan. That's the real answer because I write to please the, the kid inside of me that is all of you. Um, and by kid, I don't mean of a certain age. Um, I just mean someone who is open and innocent to the world and willing to experience it in a fresh way, which is all of you. So um, I just wanted to, to share that with you this week and hope it keeps you going. In terms of what's happening with me right now, besides being in Austin and dreaming of leaving New York behind and being a Texan, um, the School for Gun Evil movie is uh, officially filming. It started on the date that I told you it was going to start. For all of you who are big Ever Never TV watchers and on the website, I've been teasing a date sort of stealthily. And it's going incredibly well. Everything I've seen is very clear that Paul is, is making a masterpiece. And everything I've heard from the kids, um, they're having an amazing time. So imagine a movie that's not only fantastic, but that the cast and crew is having a wonderful time making <laughs> and I'm very excited to get to go. There'll be more on that to come in the future. I have to, to wrap up some things here first because as you know, I've got a book coming out in September, Peace and Beauty, which is my favorite book I've ever written because it was after I finished 
School for Good and Evil. I just remember telling my editor, I'm gonna write a book that I don't want edited very much. Meaning like, I'm gonna write a book that I want to feel very raw and I just unleashed. Instead of going through this kind of process that I usually go through with each book, which is relentless revision, relentless questioning, relentless, you know, talking with Tony again and again and over and over. What does a book mean? What is like, you know, constantly being introspective and analytical and making sure that every word of every page is precise. You know, the School for Good Evil books were like machines. Um, they had to hold together in such a sort of perfect way so that if you reread them hundreds of times, they could hold up, which was incredible pressure. And it also meant being both analytical and creative at the same time. But Beast and Beauty, I just wanted to explode. I just wanted to, it to feel like a creative volcano and just go and <laughs> that's what it is. Uh, I've been rereading it now that we're in proofs and it almost feels like, like I was in some weird fugue state when I wrote it. It's dark, it is edgy, it is provocative, it is controversial, it is all those things. I am very excited for Beast and Beauty. I hope you guys are enjoying spring as it comes along and we'll be back to our regular Ever Never TVs next week. But I just thought I'd do a little check-in to tell you that yeah, you guys mean a lot to me and that I'm at a weirdly happy place in my life. You won't see me on social media as much because I find time on social media is inverse to happiness. I'm sure all of you know this. You guys are younger and wiser than me and know that the more time you spend on screens and social media, the less happy and engaged and fulfilled and yourself you are um, and it's a lesson uh, I'm learning and absorbing and learning to get back in the world now that this pandemic is slowly getting put behind us one by one so get your shots when you are allowed to and uh, I'll see you on the other side bye